Hi, and welcome to Adding Storage of the Receipt Data. What we'll cover in this section? Description of DynamoDB, creating your first DynamoDB table in the AWS console, adding to your Lambda to store the receipt information in DynamoDB, and viewing the stored information in the AWS console. Hi, and welcome to Description of DynamoDB. What we'll cover in this video? How DynamoDB is different than SQL databases, why DynamoDB is considered serverless, provisioning DynamoDB capacity, creating secondary indexes in DynamoDB, and how data in DynamoDB is stored. We're all familiar with the SQL databases and their relational table structure in which every table has a fixed set of columns. Really, SQL is meant for data storage, whereas NoSQL is meant for fast compute. In DynamoDB tables, or any NoSQL database, columns can be defined but it's defined per item or row rather than for the entire table. The partition key is required, while the sort key is technically optional but highly recommended. Of course DynamoDB runs on servers, but what makes it serverless is the fact that you don't have to manage, provision, scale, or make fault tolerant the servers that DynamoDB runs upon. Those all happen automatically according to your configuration. Throughput is measured in capacity units. Per table, you define both the read and write capacity, and that determines the number of partitions created for your table. This table shows the formula to find the number of partitions for your table. And here's an example. Even a relatively small table can have more partitions by configuring the RCU and WCU values. Secondary indexes are needed if you want to efficiently query DynamoDB tables by other than the partition and sort keys. Each index is basically another small DynamoDB table that points back to the source table. Data in DynamoDB is stored in three different availability zones per table and partition. So even if one availability zone completely crashes, AWS still has two complete copies of your tables. And most importantly, this is crucial. Spread your keys evenly. If you don't, you'll end up crushing one of your partitions while leaving your others completely empty and that will result in a slow table. 